Hi. In this video, I'm going to go over um, a tour from my Hannah Muir um, Bamboo Mixed Media book that I do. So this is a heart. I love hearts. No pun intended. Um, and it's hearts are not just for Valentine's Day or Mother's Day. You can include any kind of image you want. And this is um, one of my first videos. Um, and I was explaining how to um, draw circles. Um, it looks complicated, but it's not. And it's like, the more you um, get into it, the more circles and half circles you can include. And again, I like hearts, so this is another one. Kind of like this one with the circles. But more of focus on um, just the love that is all around. Just having the time to slow down and appreciate what's there for you. Now, this one here, um, I did initially the um, tri triangles uh, for a video, but I wanted to experiment with colored pencils, and I ended up using um, the ones I have, which are um, from Crayola. Not the best pencils, but the um, for the budget conscious, it's a good selection. And going back to um, geometrical, you can do it um, portrait style or uh, landscape. The idea behind this is basically um, you can do this when you're bored. And this is, um, well, this one was introducing um, hatching, like in here. And this one, it was kind of like the circle before, but less circles. And I wanted to have a ring. I did this, this because Doctor Who, which is a show like I really like, um, and, but I haven't seen it for years, is being put on Disney Plus and I'm really going to have fun watching the new stuff. But anyway, I ended up um, doing the ink f for the shapes first, and then I used um, in ink tense pencils, charcoal gray here for the background, and then with the shadows, I included deep indigo. It sounded out pretty good. And this was for my nod at um, Christmas. Um, I celebrate Christmas, um, but a lot of people don't, and I don't didn't want to um, go too Christmassy, and I included the uh, patterns for the clouds, which were um, in. I did a, a video on 
different patterns and the clouds pattern um, like in the star um, is in that video. So this one here was um, another pattern that I call weave and it's kind of like a um, version of Celtic knots where the pattern is interweaving and again I used um, ink tense charcoal gray and the um, the line work is um, using my Thule art pens if you're familiar with my channel these are my go-to for doodling um, so for example here this is a, num a number two and a number two is fine but I mean it's a fine point nib um, but the bulk of my detailing like here in the saddles um, I use my um, Signo 0.28 and it's a really fine point but in, anyway um, this was initially this pattern but later on I did another video um, detailing it so as you can see from my various doodles you don't have to doodle in the same style and you can um, change it up whenever you want so this one here is a lot like the circles or the rings sorry this is the fi first time I'm doing um, a walkthrough of my doodles so the same treatment here you can see the similar similarities but this was initially for a video for um, pentag pentagons um, and adding as many pentagons as we want sorry about this the um, this is like I said my first go through tour of my work but anyway so generally speaking I like to have a, a sign appear more than once like the flower motif as well and then the um, weave pattern that I showed you earlier and the scallops is one of my favorite um, go-to um, design element I used to when I did um, watercolor um, I um, did a lot of koi fish um, reminiscent of the Japanese koi um, in their paintings but um, so that's that one and this is the final one in this book and some of you are saying yay it's over but anyway this was the one of the three washes I did in a previous video again um, but I did th this 
um, as the last one. Um, cause, and I, I, I like the um, white that I did because most doodles are done in black, but I wanted to change it up a little bit and included white because although the black, like here, would have worked, I wanted to introduce more contrast by using white. And since I like gold, I included a little bit of gold um, in the uh, butterfly. And me being me, I and added some additional um, embellishments. So that's why I've been doing for a, a bit. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Um, and I'll be doing one again when I have more to show you. I hope you got inspired and enjoyed the video. And like I said before, this is different from this style. This style and that. So if you want to switch how you do doodles, that's fine. You do you and we'll all be happy. Until the late next time, this is George and I want to appreciate you watching. Bye.